The pandemic exacerbated an already tenuous childcare situation across the United States. Experts are saying that it's not going to get better anytime soon, especially for working parents. Childcare challenges have a tremendous impact on the stability of parental employment. Lisa Hamilton, CEO of the Annie E. Casey Foundation, says their latest Kids Count Annual Report focuses on how childcare access affects parents and their jobs. We have a childcare system in this country that is broken, and it is challenging for parents to get access to the care they need uh, at an affordable price. This year's report highlights homes where childcare access pushed parents to change jobs, change shifts, or leave the workforce entirely. 13% of children under the age of five live in a household where they had a caregiver who had to change, quit, or decline a job because of the inability to get childcare. And that is uh, concerning and should be concerning for all of us because that means those families are financially unstable. And I'll note that it's been rising over the last few years. Just five years ago, it was at 9%. So the trend is certainly not going in the right direction. The lack of affordable, reliable childcare has, makes a huge difference for parents. Julie Cashin is a senior fellow at the Century Foundation. She says America has not invested in a long-term childcare system that accommodates working mothers or supports those who work in childcare. When America wants to do this, we can do it. And actually going back to World War II, the United States invested in childcare during World War II. The men were off fighting the war, the women were home and they needed them in the workplace and the factories to build the weapons. And they actually invested everything that was needed to build a childcare system. So it went away when the war ended. And what's happened is basically we've had this history of you know, wealthy white male legislators who just assume there'd be someone else there to take care of a family. So we've been relying on the unpaid labor of women, the underpaid labor of immigrant women, of Black and Latino women, and that's unacceptable and it's not going to get us into the future. Cashin says parents have to make do with their circumstances by finding stopgap solutions. A lot of parents rely on families, friends, neighbors, grandparents to care for their kids. They kind of piecemeal it together because care is so unaffordable and so many families live in childcare deserts where they just don't have care available to them. We value spending time with our families. We want to be able to both provide for and care for our families. But our lack of uh, public investment in that really means that it's incredibly hard. And for some families struggling to balance work and childcare, one of them ends up taking a hit. A stunning 23% of working parents note that they have been fired due to childcare challenges. That is a huge number. The Kids Count Report also explores what childcare access means for kids themselves. And if they aren't in quality settings, they aren't getting that good start on their education that we know they need. It's important for them to have loving, stable environments. And so if they are changing caregivers frequently, that can impact the relationship that they have with their caregivers. Cashin says the American government needs to do more to help working parents. The economy loses $122 billion every year through childcare disruptions and the fact that we don't have a childcare system in this country. Additional funding for childcare providers through the American Rescue Plan, which was a stimulus package during the COVID-19 pandemic, is set to expire in September. Cashin says this could be a catastrophe for families across the country. We have this kind of hard stop at a cliff where that money will no longer be available and it's more money than we've ever spent on childcare. So that's going to have huge consequences for families and for businesses and for the overall economy. The COVID-19 pandemic really shown a spotlight on just how hard it is. So these were problems that existed all along, but we saw them in plain light when you know we went home and had Zoom calls where kids were popping up. It was very obvious that care was a part of everyone's lives, even if it's normally invisible. Hamilton with the Annie E. Casey Foundation says the high cost of childcare could have ripple effects on the economy well into the future. In 34 states in the District of Columbia, the cost of childcare exceeds that for in-state tuition for college. 
So imagine parents haven't had the opportunity to save for 18 years to be able to put their children uh, into child care. Uh, and so we've got to do more to create a better, stronger, affordable uh, infrastructure for working parents so that um, they can get through these early years and continue to be productive um, participants in the economy. Meanwhile, experts say that working parents will continue to ensure their children are cared for with or without support. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Nicole Ellis.